Hi guys, uh, this is Thunder E from Borderwork, and today we're taking a look at a micro ATX motherboard from Gigabyte. This is the G1 Sniper M5, the G1 Killer. This is a gaming motherboard micro ATX, and we're actually going to put this in our HTPC build. Um, and uh, this board will be featured in our holiday gift guide, and we want to show you why that is the case. So a couple of things that came in with the board. This is the board itself. It's got this military side styled in a case, camo case. We do have the multilingual guide. Of course, your user manual. It says G1 Killer here on the back plate, so you can actually see that there, which is pretty cool. Of course, you do have your CRTA cables that comes with. Here, your SLI adapter if you're going to throw an SLI configuration because it does support it. And it's got an extra o OP, OP amp, so you can actually change or increase the amp on the board. It's got that amp up, um, upgrade. Now, this board supports uh, Intel Haswell processors, so basically socket 1150. All right, let's, uh, let's take a closer look at the board. Let's put all this stuff away. We don't need that right now. And let's move this a little higher for you guys so that you can take a better look at what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to take this out because I want to be starting my build soon. I just wanted to show you things on the board here. So first off, let's take a look at some of the side paneling here. You've got four USB uh, 3.0 ports. You've got more ports on the board. You've got HDMI out. I believe, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually two HDMIs. You've got two HDMIs, yeah, that's very correct. Two HDMI display port, you've got DVI, um, USB 2.0, you've got two here. Of course, you've got that port, which you all know quite well. You've got the Ethernet port. Now, the Ethernet is actually by uh, G1 Killer, so you do have the best, one of the best gaming Ethernet ports on there, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, for this board here. Now this board supports 4K output, so you can actually uh, basically use 4K on there, uh, 4K video. And you see you've got three PCI uh, slots here. So I can definitely, with my, my build here, I'm gonna put my 670 or maybe even 770, and also throwing you know, my seats and cable card in here. Now you can see the cooling here on the North and South Bridge. Very nice, solid cooling overall. And of course, this is where your socket for your um, sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, your your CPU will go. Now, this supports up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm going to be using uh, some very high-profile RAM, so you see in the whole build altogether. They see it's got onboard control, so basically I can actually test this. It's got your power on, power off, so some uh, onboard switches on there. Uh, this is using the Killer E2200 uh, um, uh, Ethernet network, so basically you've got some fast Ethernet gaming speeds on there. Now, the CPU is gold plate. I'm not going to show you now, but probably might show you later on in the video. It's, it is the CPU uh, uh, plate is gold plated, so allows for this better con conductivity of uh, you know on the CPU board itself. Board feels nice. Uh, I mean, like I like the way it looks. I like the look of the board because I'm going to throw a lot of things on here. So why don't we set it up and then we'll give you our final thoughts on the G1 Sniper M5 from Gigabyte. All right, so I have my G1 Sniper M5 in my case here. This is the uh, Fractal Design uh, Node 605. What I like about this is I'm going to move in a little bit closer and show you. Let's kind of zoom in there. If we can Let's see here, that's there we go. Let's go out a little bit. What I do like about this is that even though this is a very compact uh, motherboard, it still has a lot of space. I actually found it more spacing than other micro ATX motherboards that we've looked at this year. And you can see it's also got three PCI slots, which is, is rare. Even for its size, it still has enough space to have three. Usually it's two or one PCI slot, so I can put my graphics card in here. I can also put in my seats and um, cable card. I also like the fact that you've got a power button. If you can see that in the corner. And I can actually turn the system on just to give it a test run, just to see how things work, what's coming on, what's not. So my fans are on, except that fan, so I know I just need to fix that. But overall, I do like that ability built in. So let's take a look at the BIOS and then we'll round this up. I, I, and uh, I can tell you that um, 
I have had this board up. I just want to show you the internals. I took away some of the stuff here and also the hard drive just to show you is that this thing just really kills it. It runs very well. It takes up a small footprint. Can be a little tight in a smaller case, of course, like this. But um, let's go ahead anyway and check out the um, the BIOS settings and then we'll round up this uh, review. All right, so we're taking a look at the BIOS for the G1 um, Sniper M5. And you can see you can customize things as much as you want. I can use a mouse here so you can see a cursor that moves around. It's moving a little closer. And it allows you to, to do your some of the overclocking right here. So I can see my clock speed. I can actually just change that right here. I can change my memory clock speed. It's been down clock to 1333 on auto. That's what it does, even though I have a faster memory here. And I can increase multiply that up whichever way I choose. So I'm just going to leave that auto for now since I'm not doing the overclocking. Uh, we can uh, go to performance, look at our general performance, look at the overall look at the system, uh, BIOS features, uh, uh, peripherals, things like that, power management, we uh, come back up. So you do have a lot of customizable settings here. Now the G1M uh, Sniper M5 is a solid board. I mean, it was easy to install. I mean, relatively to the, the case I had, but I was able to do a good job with it. And um, I really like it. I like the options with the visual BIOS. Uh, where I can mess around with many things as much as I want to. So if you're you know, a hardcore gamer and really want to, to to go around and mess with your build, you can do that. And it's very easy by, you know, just with the slider settings, you can set your own uh, options too if you want to. We've also got standard here. And um, uh, we can uh, change all those. Shows your boot sequence and things like that. So you have all those things there. And I really like it. I, I think this is one of the uh, better boards I've used this year. And probably, um, you know, my definite gaming board if I were to, to you know, to suggest one for a micro ATX build or HDPC because it's also it's relatively inexpensive. So, uh, again, this supports the 1150 uh, Intel processor as well, a fourth generation processor. So, if you have any questions or any comments about the the Gigabyte G1 Sniper M5, well, let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all board of work with two rows. So it's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.